a smooth launch as the Siahamba sets sail in the Durban Harbour for the first time. The unique design was a dream of master student Danisha Mira. Now, after five years, with the input from staff and students on its design and development, it is finally a reality. Built not just for speed, the Siahamba is a test of innovation and sustainable energy technology to keep the oceans and environment clean. It will represent the country and the continent on the world stage as one of the 15 elected from 100 university entries to compete in the prestigious Monaco Energy Boat Challenge in July. I am proud, especially because it's the first African side to partake in Monaco Solar Boat Challenge. And all this work came from DUT students. So I mentored about four to five students. They had all inputs in the boat. One student helped build the boat. One student designed the seat of the boat. Another student helped uh, design the electrical components of the boat. A lot of work went in, all from DUT students, which I'm very, very proud of. Weighing only 90 kilogram, the body is made from a carbon fiber composite structure reinforced with aluminium. It's just over five meters long and its multiple interconnected solar panels powers a four kilowatt electric motor. The focus is to inspire students to know that there's a future in the energy sector, especially in the alternative energy. So for us at the university, that's our goal, is to upskill our students so that they can go out into the world and make a difference in the energy field. The project, which is the initiative of the university's KZN Industrial Energy Efficient Training and Resource Center, was sponsored by the Energy and Water Sector Education Training Authority. By supporting innovation and technology like this, we are not only driving sustainable um, development for the country, but we're also increasing the awareness around renewable energy technologies and hopefully when the DUT team comes back they can then take this boat into the communities, expose our communities to the possibilities and the opportunities that open up when you, you're driving projects that are so um, innovative within the renewable energy space. Lazarus says while developed countries work on large-scale maritime transport alternatives for the future. The university focuses more on affordable transport initiatives for use in eco-sensitive areas where the sun is abundant and fuel is expensive and harmful to the ecology. Blondie Khadeb, SAPC News, Deben.